the tail of the tape brought to you by Air Asia. Now everyone can fly. Jimmy Crew, 22 years old. Sam Alby is 10 years his senior. Both fighters six foot two inches tall. Both fighters making weight. Alby will have a reach advantage of an inch and a half. All right, now to get us the official introductions for this main card opener, here is Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from down under at Rod Labor Arena in Melbourne, Australia for UFC 234, Adesanya versus Silva. Presented by Tab, who are you backing? And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 33 wins, 11 losses, one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Temecula, California, USA, smiling Sam Alvey. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding an undefeated professional record. Nine wins, no losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Fighting out of Bendigo, Victoria, Australia, Jimmy Cruz! And the action begins. Our referee in charge, Mark Goddard. Mark Goddard, our referee for this one. Sam Alvey's a trip, man. I mean, I bet you'd like to have that guy as your father. He's the father of three, Reagan five, Ivo four, Crosby two. Got child number four coming in September. First order of business. This matchup with Jimmy Cruz here tonight. Sam Alvey in the blue trunks out of the southpaw stance. The plus 130 underdog, Jimmy Crew, the minus 150 favorite for his second UFC appearance here tonight. Something to be aware of, Sam Alvey said, Crew had stitches, three stitches under his right eye just a couple days ago. I'm gonna aim right for those stitches and try to explode his eye. I think that's nice of you, Sam. <laughs> Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. Well, as Megan O'Leary referenced when Jimmy Crute was making his way to the octagon, it was pretty hard on himself after that Kimura victory over Paul Craig. He felt like he forced things a bit. His sprawls were slow and spent too much time on his back. So this is a young cerebral fighter that is not at all satisfied with the 9-0 record. Goes high there, partially blocked by Sam Alvey. What we're going to see out of Crute, he's going to stay on the outside, stay patient. But you saw a sharp right hand down the middle and a good right high kick. If he keeps his strikes long and on the outside, he'll get Alvey to just swing at nothing with power and slowly pick him apart. A little showmanship from Jimmy Crute. Alvey's an interesting opponent for a lot of these folks because he kind of lulls you in and doesn't throw a lot. And then you obviously know about the power in what is his lead right hand, but not the easiest guy to compete against. Well, he, he tricks you because you think that he's kind of like nice guy and soft and all this stuff possibly because of maybe the way he looks and the smiley face on the back of his head. But then he trains with Dan Henderson and Dan Henderson is one of the toughest human beings on earth. I swear he eats metal for breakfast. So if you're training with that guy every day, you learn how to take damage. You learn how to be durable. You learn how to figure out a way to win. And so that's how sometimes he gets people down. He pulls you into his power and gets you. But I don't think that Jim Coot's gonna fall for that. I think he's gonna make Alvy work and pick him apart slowly, and that's what we're seeing right now. 17th UFC appearance for Sam Alvey. He said of his last effort, it was the most strategic I've ever fought, and almost too much thinking in his own estimation, landed the left hand there. Don't forget, man, I mean, even if he's getting picked apart, he's in this fight till the very end unless you knock Alvy out. He's extremely durable, and he's got a lot of power in both of his hands. Alvey has only been finished three times in 45 professional fights. Listen, listen in to his corner, his wife, McKee Alvey, and the rest. Oh, oh, huge, big right high kick. And that hurt his Oh, oh huge he did not landed. come for Crew. Crew walked off as he if stopped. the fight was done. Shouldn't have stopped. That's why you got to have the ref pull you off. Legs. Now a high kick from Crew. Oh, and stopping really changed the game, but he's still hurt. Alvey is still hurt. And that's it. I think this is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. He doesn't have much to defend with right now. Alvy is done. Jimmy Crew, 10 and 0. You're not moving. You're not moving. 
And Alvy said something about that. He said Goddard has stopped his fights early before and let me take a beating, and Goddard stopped the fight again, and Alvy is obviously mad because this is the second time he had talked to us about this, Anik. Right, and Goddard did stop it maybe early. I don't know, but I mean, he was hurt, so I get it. Well, Alvy thought he had recovered, and in our sit-down with him, he was not at all happy with Mark Goddard. He tried to articulate that respectfully, but once again, Mark Goddard, the referee in question, as Sam Alvey believes it was an early stoppage. We'll take a look back at it. This fight replay brought to you by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. Interesting, they gave him the same rep again. We see here, he goes to throw a left hand and walks right into a super powerful right hand of Krut. From here, Krut should not have walked away. You don't stop and let the rest, unless the ref stops you, even if you think they're hurt. We're in there to the death in these fights for the most part, even if it's a sport. And right here, he walks away and gives Sam Alvey a chance, but Alvey's still hurt. Goddard's watching closely. It is our job to keep the fighter safe, but I think he was trying to work up, and he's covering his head right here. He's covering his head, covering his thumbs up. He's got a thumb up. Goddard doesn't listen, doesn't see it, stops it. Well, an immediate protest from Sam Alvey, but it goes into the books as a first-round knockout for Jimmy Crute who improves to 10-0. and 0. And again, Alvy really is. animated in the direction of the referee, Mark Goddard. All right, to make this one official, we turn it inside now to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 49 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by Chief KO, Jimmy Cruz. Here he is, folks. What a moment for Jimmy Crute in Melbourne tonight. 10-0. Got to feel pretty good, too. Have you heard about Jimmy fucking Crute?